Hello, everybody. Turn the game down just a tiny bit for stream. There we go. And we'll turn that on. Let's go. Uh, so, welcome, everybody. I have never played a Disgaea game before. They've always looked really cool to me. I've always loved the memes I've seen, and, uh... Yeah, I'm excited to get started. Um, I'm going to be playing the PC port of Disgaea. As far as I'm aware, this is one of the more definitive editions. Um, so, apart from that, let's just get started. King Kridrevskoy, the mighty ruler of the Netherworld. His long reign came to an abrupt end as the news of his death spread throughout the Dark Land. Ambitious demons rose one after another to seize hey, Alice, the what's opportunity. Up? And thus began the age of turbulence and anarchy. Two years later... Prince! Oh great, this game has voice acting. Awesome. Is this the one I see on, like, all the art? Hell yeah. Well, if that's the case, there's only one thing left to do. What fool dares awaken me, the great Laharl? Oh, Prince! Well, I'm glad you're still alive. I'm the same way. Resort to brutal death force uh, whenever met with the, uh, the chance of not waking someone up. said I was dead. I was just taking a nap. Anyways, why are all those weapons behind you? Well, I was having a hard time waking you up. Are you sure you weren't trying to kill me instead? No! Uh, I mean, yes. I just wanted to wake you up. <laughs> Whatever. So, what is it? You better have a good reason for waking me up. Also, please let me know how the volume is. Oh, yeah. Big news. Your father, King Krzyzewski, has died. You what? When? Great start to a game. Two years ago. Wait a second. So, you're telling me that I've been sleeping for over two years? Yep. Yep? Why didn't you wake me up earlier? I mean, right now I'm relating to this pro tag extremely heavily. Like, I had zero clue this was the intro to the game. Excuse me, but what do you think I've been doing all this time? The netherworld has gone to hell while you were sleeping. It's not my fault if some other demon steals the title of Overlord. Yes, that is me. That is my job. What? Have they forgotten whose title they're trying to steal? <laughs> How bold of them. I shall show no mercy, for I am the Harl, the rightful heir to the throne. Same, Alice. Same. Also, I just realized chat is an awful color. Um, I'm going to have to fix that later. So, part, let me just do this real quick. And... I'll have to fix those colors later. Yeah, sleeping for two years, that's the dream. Imagine laughing like this, homie. Wouldn't be me. Episode 1. Prince of the Netherworld. La, 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 la. 
Oh, cool. We're in control. Can I pick this up? I want to use the chain gun. I want to use the chain gun. Pick one up, you asshole. Okay, fair fair play on the sword. Also, this is weird collision. Excuse me? Did we get a printy or something? Okay, that's how you open the menu. Who the fuck are you? Edna, why do you have so low health? I'm the one that was asleep for two years. This is all already a mess. Jeez. Yo, mint gum? That sounds awesome right now. Class mascot. Oh, that's fun. So do I just run into things to battle them? Do I not have to worry about turn order? Oh, you're friendly. I only planned on napping for about 10 days. Same, dude. I want to talk to you. Damn, come monster over here. What is going on? I should probably be narrating some of this, huh? Oh well, looks like I wasted my time digging that grave for you. I'll put you in that grave instead. Sassy. A pretty. Who are you? Under construction, please come back later. Okay, okay. Gargo. In order to prevent intruders, I've closed all the gates. Please talk to the Dimensional Gatekeeper if you'd like to leave the castle. Yeah, whatever. You probably just didn't want to watch the gate. This kid gets it. Brittany? I feel a breeze, dude. This castle's getting old. Same, dude. Good morning, Prince. How are you feeling? Couldn't be worse. My body feels really stiff from sleeping too much. Why don't you warm up on a tutorial map? Go see the Dimensional Gatekeeper and she'll send you there. Stop being so pushy, I wanna explore. Whoa. Okay, I don't think purchase there. First, equip four items. The character can equip one weapon, three other items, such as armor. Monsters can only equip items from the monsters only category. Okay. Yo, dude, printies, they fucking explode. You might not want to eat this one. They go boom. Do I even have money? I do. Bulletproof vests. Let's go. Garlic water, that's the way to go. Stealing hand, ooh. But the fact that there's multiple stock means that, uh... I should worry about this later. Oh, is that where it's supposed to go? Like... Let me sit on the throne. Yo, you look fun. Eat, sleep, do anything you want all day. It's so good to be a demon. Hell yeah, dude. Have you ever thought of working for me? Ha 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 ha. Of course not. Big same, dude. In this market, who needs to work? Wouldn't be me.
Okay, that's good to know. Tutorial stuff. Wristbands. Oh wow, this is a lot, actually. Guns? Let's go. Villager's Axe? What is this, Smash Bros? Who are you? Magdalena, you're cute. Yo, you're the nurse? The doctor? Doctor? I'll be sure to get uh, hurt a lot just to see you. Another printy? Are you the dimensional gatekeeper girl? So with middle knowledge. Wow, they're assuming I'm dumb and they're entirely correct. Kind of spirit, you don't get rid of it, though this is just a record, it might be useful for you as a guide. Records aren't worth any money or anything, but they can be fun. Okay. There's always someone better. You should keep working hard. Okay. Who are you? Well, Gateway Center, we are not open yet. Okay. Have you saved yet? You might want to save. Okay, cool. Ah, you're the dimensional gatekeeper. You're a bit out of the way. Tutorial, let's go. <sighs> Tired. Sleepy showed you sleepy for a reason. How's everyone's night tonight, by the way? Stray demons, huh? Allow me, Prince. You may be a little out of practice after your long slumber. Edna, you have like half my HP. Don't worry, I came prepared. Come on, pretty squad! Prinnies, let's go! I love the prinnies. They're so cool. Get your butts out here! Now! Okay, I have more respect for this lady. This pretty squad I hired. They're my loyal servants. They'll do anything I say. Hope you didn't pay too much. Are you sure about that? Look at the homie just doing ballet in the top. to beat up your allies before a battle. Same dude? Anyway, I think we've made those demons wait long enough already. Hey, you're right. How nice of them to be so patient. Yeah, that's considerate of them. This is what I always think about when it comes to turn-based games. To show my appreciation, I'll only beat them half to death. If you insist, so dude. Kind. If I were you, I'd beat them all the way to death. C Same girl. Kind. Stop that. That word gives me goosebumps. Damn it. I take it back. I'm going to beat them all the way to death. The chick's growing on me. Mm, he's still a kid. So quick tempered. It looks like carrying out my plan will be a lot easier than I thought. Hmm? You say something. Oh, nothing. Nothing at all. So, what are your orders, Prince? You do remember how to fight, right? For the basics of battle. Just in case you forgot, let me explain the basics of battle. Move the cursor to the base panel and press A to select the characters you wish to dispatch. I'm not doing that. Fuck you. 
If you want to cancel an order to dispatch a character, move the cursor over to the character and press B. For example, if you press B here, you can cancel the action. Now let's issue a command to dispatch the character. First move him slash her to an enemy. Stop playing for me, game. And select attack. You have now assigned an action, however, the character won't attack immediately. If you want to execute an action that you've assigned, open the menu and select Execute or Ends Turn. In this case, let's pick Execute. See, the character attacked. Actions Y Execute, remember this, you'll be using it a lot. If you assign actions to multiple characters, they will be executed in the order that you assign them. Be careful, you can't cancel actions once you've chosen to execute them. After you're done issuing commands, open the menu and enter turn. It will be the enemy's turn. Simple enough. Ow, why did I have to be the one to do this? I'm the next overlord for crying out loud. That was an example of something not to do. Only an idiot would rush straight into the enemy alone. You made me do it. Characters skilled in battle, like our prince here, can be revived by paying hell to the castle's hospital. If all of your dispatched characters are defeated, the game will be over. So the basic idea is to gang up on one character and beat the living daylights out of him, huh? Exactly, prince. Remember to use your head next time. You're the one who told me to do it. Team attacks sometimes occur when allies are positioned next to attacking characters. If several enemy characters attack the same enemy in a row, a combo will result and the greater damage will be dealt. If you want to know more, press Y and select help from the menu. Stage start. So let's throw in... Okay, there we go. This is gonna get, take a second to get used to, but I'll get there. Gotta learn this stuff. I'm not used to this kind of game. Look at these printies doing their job. Yo, homie uses a gun? Homegirl uses a gun? Oh, I just have to end turn. Okay. Oh, this guy's gonna be in for a bad time. Look at all this hit. Look at all that damage, that dablage. Bonus. Okay, that's a lot of hell. 
cool. More stray demons. How annoying. I wish I could toss them. Well, why don't you? You can? Are we going to learn how to yeet the enemies? Yo! For our ignorant prince, let me explain the commands of lift and throw. Situation like this, way too far for your attacks to reach. You can yeet each other? Oh my god, that is amazing. Pick up a character by selecting lift. Hey, stop it, Elna! And then select throw. You'll have to decide on a direction and distance too. I'll throw you next to an enemy. Oh my god. Oomph. See, that covered a lot of ground, and now you're able to attack. You can use lift and throw on both allies and enemies. Keep in mind that only humanoid characters can use lift and throw. Monsters cannot do it. By making good use of these commands, you can extend your attack range. This is very helpful moving around on some maps, so don't forget it. There are other uses for commands besides covering ground, like holding an enemy so he can't move, and saving injured allies from danger, etc. By the way, printies will explode when they're thrown, so handle them with care. Dude, you gotta be kidding. If you throw an enemy at an enemy, there may be fun uses waiting to be discovered. Try experimenting. That's it, I'm gonna throw you next time. Oh, and one more thing, a character will take damage if the turn ends and he, she is still holding someone. Stage start them. So... Um... I gotta do it. Time to yeet the pretty. Oh no, I can't from this angle. Never mind. Oh yes I can, but not to the person I want. Well. Okay, cool. I still did splash damage. That's all that matters. in trouble. She did. Oh, I didn't know that auto retaliates were a thing. Well then. What's your attack range? Oh, you can attack from, like, mad far away. Homegirl uses gun, which is the most powerful uh, move in any game, statistically. Auto retaliates are so strong. I 
haven't played a strategy league game like this in so long. Poglev? Yo, are we gonna be furries in here? Gonna be going full on furry. Geo panels, interesting. These are geographical features that are attuned to the elements of the universe. Crystallization of those elements results in geo symbols like the one right here. Well, that doesn't explain anything, so let me clarify a few things. I love how self aware this game is. Like, let me explain geo effects, a system which will heavily influence battle. Take a good look at the color panels on like an area of the map. Notice that enemy boost 50% is displayed at the top of the screen. This means that when the enemy is on the blue panel, his her attack defense will be powered up by 50. This is not good for you, so it's why to get rid of this effect. You might be wondering where does it come from in the first place? Ugh. Man, I'm tired. Why looky here, we found an object labeled enemy boost on this blue panel. This guy's the culprit. How obvious is that? This object is called Geo Symbol, and as long as it's on a colored panel, all panels of the same color will be affected. Let's toss it somewhere. Let's take a drink. The effect enemy boost is no longer on any of the blue panels, but. Huh? The geo symbol does not affect the red panels. That doesn't change much. Hmm, let's destroy it then. Oh, before we do that, do you see the blue square displayed on the geo symbol status window? Remember that. Now it's time to attack. Go ahead, Prince. Yabe. Huh, the red panels are now blue. Remember the two blue in the status window? This is what happened what is referring to. Destroying a blue geo symbol which on all panels, which are the same color as the one that was on blue. Damage will be dealt to anyone standing on any of those panels at the time, so be sure to take that into consideration. No damage will be dealt if you destroy a blue geo symbol on a blue panel, no panel will change color either. You can build up your blue bonus gauge by changing the color of geo panels. If you are able to use what you've learned to destroy all the geo panels, then you will receive a panel termination bonus. All of this relates to a term I used before, geo effects. That's pretty complicated. You're right it is. It might be a good idea to start off by destroying only the harmful geo symbols. Nullifying all the panels is good is for... I can't talk. Nullifying all the panels is for experts who understand the concept of GeoFX completely and you're not one of them. Wow. Assuming I'm an idiot. Probably correct, but still. Not all Geo symbols have negative effects. When you get the chance, you should try it and take advantage of the useful ones. Lastly, press the back button to turn the Geo panel display on off. Checkerboard patterns. Let's go. If I do this, All right, I know that this the tutorial says so exactly what it, what it wants me to do, but still. Oh, interesting. So it does change. I didn't think it would. those geo whatever symbol things like 
they chain off of each other, so uh, that's something to keep into consideration when exploding them. Cool, cool. Hmm, I'm starting to get the hang of this again. Okay, then are you ready to request some allies of the Dark Assembly? There you get to create characters who will become your loyal pupils. Loyal pupils. That doesn't sound like a bad idea. All right, let's go. Dark Assembly, welcome to the Dark Assembly. Here you can create characters as well as submit proposals. In order to submit proposals, you have to... Are you... Yeah, you have to have energy known as mana. You can gain mana by defeating enemies. If you want, you can use the mana you have right now to make a new character. A cleric might be useful for healing, while a warrior or brawler might come in handy when attacking. If Prince Laharl makes the characters, they will become his loyal pupils, manage their growth carefully. Whoops. Summon assembly. Yes, yeah, summon assembly. Okay. Oh my god, this is going to be great. Oh my god. Oh man, this is extensive. Okay. Do I... I'm not going to do it. I should do it. I'm not going to do it. Not yet. Okay. I'm reading stats right now. Well, that's boring that the mages are just generic colors. Okay, let's make, let's make something that can range. Does anybody is anybody able to use guns? I uh, didn't think so. Okay, then let's make a warrior. No, a brawler. Let's make a brawler. Good for nothing. Oh, this is fun. Oh, I see. Oh, we have to name them? Well, Alice, you were in chat, so you're a brawler. Do I have options for space? I don't know if I do. Right, we're just gonna keep naming these guys after chat. Oh. I see. Okay. Interesting. Cool. Okay, that's neat. Can you kill me? Okay. 
Okay. Hey, Prince, you have gone to the hospital? You should make sure you heal everybody after battle. Treatment may not be free, it costs health, but please heal us too, dude. Yo, you the homie giving me 300 health even though I already healed myself? Poggers? Don't want to buy anything yet. I've added Vyre's Castle to the list of available areas. It is fairly new, so I do not know much about it. However, it is rumored that a very able man lives there. Oh? What's gonna do, Prince? Should we take a peek? Definitely. I'll slide to the master of the castle as the first step of becoming an overlord. We'll do the first couple of missions, and then I will call it... Magnificent Gate. Stage start. Okay, let's take a look at things here. Ah. Okay, okay, there's a lot of red there. Raise the stats significantly for enemies. Raise bonus XP for killing enemies. Okay. And just to blue. So what I will do then... Alice, you're going out. And then we're going to lift the XP, and then we're going to throw it. And I hope this doesn't destroy it. We're gonna throw Alice all the way into here. Alice, I'm sorry, you're being used as fodder. Oh wait. I am so dumb. Um I wanna redo this one. Have. Oh no, I only have printies left. Never mind. Yeah. Alice, where are you? A Alice? Did I accidentally kill Alice? No. Alice died fast, jeez. Sorry, Alice. Oh, I dropped a, I'm dropping frames. Why am I dropping frames? That was really weird.
Let's try gonna execute. This is very satisfying to watch. Watching it all just go down. Lots of XP. And then you're just gonna run. Well, she died anyway. That's fine. Gun. Oh, you're still alive. Okay. Well, I just didn't move. Okay. I probably should have moved you first, but whatever. Ouch. Bang. Done. Oh, cool. So I'm pretty much into the game. Okay. Uh, what time is it? Almost one. Um, let's heal up, do one more mission, and then we'll call the stream. Oh, wow, Alice. You, Alice, you need to survive longer, man. Time. Wow, this is a pretty nice place. Oh, that vase would sell for a lot. Fool, that makes us petty thieves. I can't disgrace the name of the Overlord. I have to be impartial and... Impartial and what? Plunder everything. <laughs> oh, that's our prince. You're so ruthless. Hey there, you atrocious fiend. Yeah, the Prinnies, let's go. You cold-blooded monster! <laughs> A demon among demons! Quit complimenting me so much. It's embarrassing. Agreed. Now listen up. I want you to pillage and plunder anything and everything in this castle. Aye, aye, dude. Let's go, dude. <laughs> you all right so we should be able to do boom and oops boom hello and remember to set the attacks 
and then we'll send you. And you. Wait, can I friendly fire? I can friendly fire. Oh my god, that's hilarious. And we'll start with that. That was easy. Okay. They deal far more damage than I anticipated. Alice, I think you need a little help there. For this explodes the thing. Okay, it didn't. Damn. Oh no. Alice, you're going to need to run. Oh, no. The game is smart. this action. I swear there are more yellow spaces, though. Up here somewhere. Maybe I'm wrong. Well, I'm not gonna cancel it. on the printies and we'll get them prepared. I'm probably going to throw them to explode the other dudes. I mean, hey, I'll take a little bit of extra. Done. I swear that guy should have been dead there. Um, I don't know the throw range, so I don't want to risk it yet, but... Well, actually, I guess I can just do this. Can't lift yet, but almost. And then you can attack you. Execute, and then we'll enter. Oh, yikes. I'll finish this. Out in the no. Well. I'm going to try and kill Napoleon first. I was going to throw the printies and try and kill them, but that's just not going to happen. Uh, 
room, and this should be it. If all goes well. Yo. That was Poggers. Who's left? Oh, there's one dude up here. Okay. Easy peasy. Like I said, easy peasy. We're just gonna kill this dude. Attack. You might be even... Yeah, you can just attack from there. And then we'll attack you. And we will execute, and then we'll enter. In. Bang, bang. Look at the pretty dancing. This is so cute. That's a lot of hell. I dig this. This is a fun game. Corridor of Love? Oh my god. I need to play that when there's other people around. Okay. All right, I think I'm going to call the stream there for the night. It's been a nice test stream for uh, what may be to come. Um, yeah, I hope everybody's had a good time, and hopefully I can get chat fixed for next time. Have a good night, everybody. Please be sure to like, follow, and subscribe, and all that fun jazz before I forget to say that again. All right, have a good night.